Hello, my name is Ricardo Cadena with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video is about performing a configuration backup and restore for Mediant 3000 Release 1 using a web browser. Mediant 3000 configuration settings are stored in an INI file on the Media Gateway. Performing a backup of the Mediant 3000 configuration is actually a backup of the INI file. Restoring the configuration is accomplished by uploading a previously saved INI file. The backed up INI file includes only parameters that were modified and parameters with other than default values. All settings not included in the file are set to default. The software or CMP file loaded to the media gateway determines the default parameter values. We will demonstrate the configuration backup and restore for Mediant 3000 Release 1. The Avaya Release 1 classification for the audio codes Mediant 3000 corresponds to Audio Codes Release 5.8 software. The user interface used for this demonstration will be a web based graphical user interface, which may be accessed using any standard web browser. Please note that in an environment where the Median 3000 is managed by an Audio Codes Element Management System server, all administration should be performed using the EMS client and not using the web interface. Access the Median 3000 web browser interface using credentials that provide administrator level permissions. After authenticating, you arrive at the home page with the configuration tab selected in the navigation bar. The configuration file page is used for backup and restore procedures. To access the configuration file page, first select the maintenance tab. In the navigation pane, select the configuration file page underneath the software update navigation tree item. The configuration file page appears in the work pane. To backup or save the configuration file locally, click the Save INI File button. Navigate to the directory where you would like to save the file. Adjust the file name if desired. Click Save. The configuration file is now backed up locally. You may want to confirm that the file was actually saved where specified. To restore, upload, or send the configuration file, Click the Choose File button. Locate and select the file. Click Open. The file name appears next to the Choose File button. Click the Send INI File button. You receive a message saying that the device resets after the file downloads. This must only be performed during a maintenance window or in a lab environment. Click OK. A message appears in the work pane stating that the device is restarting and that the site will be refreshed automatically. Once complete, the Authentication Required dialog box appears requesting your username and password. The configuration file is now successfully restored. You may wish to take steps to confirm settings as well as gateway functionality. In a high availability configuration, synchronization will need to occur between the active and standby trunk packs. For additional information on using the web browser graphical user interface and media gateway configuration, reference the Mediant 3000 Release 5.8 SIP Users Manual. Media gateway documentation is contained on the Mediant 3000 software and documentation disk or in the ISO available for download from plds.avaya.com. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at AvayaMentor. Thank you for choosing Avaya.